Hello! So today we are going to be organizing this crazy hectic pantry behind me. So we are going to be going to the dollar store. I'm going to try to find some bins to help me just categorize all the chaos that is behind This is what it is before. I It's to me semi-organized, but it's really not. I've just got baking and treats and vitamins up here. I've got oils, snacks. I mean, it is just pretty chaotic. We have that. We have, can you even find anything you love in here, Ami Bear? Yeah, applesauce. Applesauce, yeah. So, Mommy knows where everything's at, but we need to make this look better. So, let's head to the dollar store. Okay, I'm looking for some things for the pantry here. I don't like the color. Hopefully they have a little bit more neutral section. Huh, girlfriend? Kind of cute, little wire baskets with a handle. Might put these in the cart, a few of them. All right, looking for more things. Now we are at Home Goods looking for a few things. Things are more expensive here, but they have a lot more options that are prettier, that's for sure. And we are back from our trip, Home Goods. We found this spice or can little rack, and then these two canisters that will hold uh, flour and sugar. And then at the Dollar Tree, I got this white bin. I got three of these smaller bins. I got these three things, which I'm not really sure I'm gonna use. I got one larger green bin and then a shallow green bin. These were all buck, super cheap. Not the cutest, but again, cheap. So I'm gonna get started just like we did with my closet. I'm gonna take everything out. I'm gonna wipe all the shelves down to just kind of give it a clean, fresh pick me up. And then we are going to start by strategizing and organizing the pantry and putting them into our bins. So let's do it. <laughs> Also, quick pause, while you are clearing things out, take this time to go through and just discard all old, stale, bad things you don't want or use items in your pantry. Just go ahead and get rid of those things now. All right, look at that, guys. Looking pretty clean until you get down here crazy 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 all of this is out it's not organized in any particular order what i think i'm going to do now is go wipe down all of the shelves including the bottom maybe even vacuum and then i'm going to start organizing so just want to reiterate this is no small task i'm going to do this in stages i'm going to put my kids down for a nap then i'm going to really tackle the organization piece but you can do it i hope this totally motivates you or maybe yours just doesn't look as bad as minded and you don't need to organize so what a wonderful world. I am done. So let me show you guys the final outcome of the pantry makeover. It looks so much better. Okay, so here it is. Here is the overview. I'm going to show you each section, but doesn't it look 10 times better? Oh my goodness. Starting on the top, I have all of my baking things. So I have baking soda, baking powder in this little tray. In this little cubby, I managed to fit all of my little food dyes, sprinkles. I've got the kids' candy jar back here, cupcake holders. I've got my flour, my sugar. And then over here, I have a random assorted basket of just other sugars, powdered sugar, chocolate chips. And then this has all of my baking needs. Um, espresso powder, vanilla, liquid coconut oil, 
cardamom, pumpkin pie, spice, etc. Elf number two. So starting from the left, I did end up using all the baskets I had. So here I have a couple things of salt and some random cornmeal. We have coffee. We have a bin back here that has tea and hot cocoa in it. In the middle here, you will find this big basket and it has cocoa powder, protein powders, maca powder, matcha powder, uh, chia seeds, just all of kind of my like health stuff for smoothies, etc., are in this container. And then over here are coconut oils and honeys. And along this side, out of reach of, from the kids, would be all of our vitamins and Advil and such. Third level down, more kids level, I put all the snack items. So I have a bunch of rice cakes, chips, crackers, squeezy packs, uh, pretzels, assorted nuts, and popcorn and things, raisins. And in the back, I just tucked some crackers and applesauce. I managed to put all of my loose almonds in this container that I already had. And in this container, I put all of the walnuts that I had. Holy moly. I also have some random sprays here. In the back corner, you will see two different pancake mixes. Going down to the fourth shelf, I've got bread and buns. I've got mac and cheese in this whole bin is a little crazy, but it has quinoa, rice, and pasta in it. And then here is my cans. So I have all of my cans on this new stacking can shelf. In this bin, I have a few other random assorted snacks, nuts, dried fruit, etc. Back there, I've got a couple other, you know, dried peanut butter, um, MCT oil used for smoothies. And then I put all of my spices on the next level up because I access them a lot more in, in one big tray so it'll be easier to find instead of going all the way down there to the bottom. And lastly, on my bottom shelf, again, I just have all the oils loosely down here below. I can't really think of a better way to organize all of this. So if you have any ideas, would love to hear. I have some water, cornstarch, and just a bunch of chicken broth and stuff down here. And then I just shoved all the cereals down below with some oatmeal. I'm super happy how this turned out. I think it looks so much more organized, less cluttered. I'm able to just kind of see what's going on in here. That is it on the pantry makeover. I totally encourage you guys to do this. It really, it is a lot of work. You gotta go and you gotta get all your bins and stuff if you don't have anything. But once you do, it really only takes like a good hour. So go home if you have a pantry this size at least. So go home, just do it. You're gonna feel so much better about yourself and you can just visually see everything you got going on, which is amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for a lot more fun videos like this. I'm obviously on a springing, spring clean bonanza. So if I organize anything else, I'll be sure to take you guys along. So thank you guys again for watching and have a great day. Bye.